Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. And today we have a box I'm super, super excited for. It's the Mystery Booster Convention Edition box. It's been quite a while since I did a Mystery Booster box. Now we've got the convention, which kind of came out of nowhere. Obviously they've had the convention sort of sort of packs in the in the past but now they've merged it into one cool set i've got crumbling necropolis and what we're going to have so we've got a re retro brimstone dragon and what we're going to have for the rare commit to memory not a valuable one but there we go oh okay didn't even get a chance to talk about these convention cards i don't know how many you get in a box if it's um well, if this if it's one if it's if it's one in every pack i don't know but here we've got bucket list yeah really really cool stuff there so we'll go play test we'll go rare we'll go retro so yeah they have these play test cards which are really really cool you've got ridiculous cards like oh, what's it slip drag slip dravi um monstrosity or something ridiculous they're kind of they're almost like the uh the joke sets, like the uh, un un sets, they're just a they're, they're really 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 fun. Some of them are worth a big big book or two as well. And we'll get to the the land portion, blasted landscape, timely reinforcements from 2012. The re oh oh yes yes yes. Now <laughs> again, the the good hits are happening early. This was about to be one of the cards that I said oh, I really wanted to pack, really want just just for me. And we've got Cure Vito, so it looks like this playtesting will be in in most packs, I guess. And that is really cool. Cure Beetles, haste. The stack is now first in, first out instead of last in, first out. Really cool. Yeah, if you've got a really relaxed, cool play group as as I do, then you know some of your friends may be fully up for adding them to adding them to the game just for, for a bit of fun. But what is most fun is smashing that like button and subscribing for all things MTG. Do that, you get to watch me open fun things like this, which I just love. I've opened two mystery booster boxes on this channel and it's just, it's one of the best sets. It's just so fun. You've got sets dating all the way back from the start. Got Crag and Wick Cremator here. Just got a card at random. And uh, we've just got a creature cut this way. Deals damage equals that card's power to target player. And Doretti Scrap Servant. We've got back to back mythics. That is stuff you love to see. And it can even be your commander from C14. <laughs> Bear with sets mechanic. Vigilant Aggressive. During your turn, there's an additional combat phase. Many creatures with aggressive may attack. That is, that is in a scary, aggressive looking bear there two mythics already yeah this was this was just a set that kind of just appeared out of the blue there wasn't really any hype for it 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 just it just appeared with a with i mean lgs is new they were getting it but it just to all of us non-lgs owners it kind of just appeared out of nowhere didn't it and i am absolutely loving it already kiora's follower just a great simic card absolutely elite blossom his hands not an elite land. And we've got Core Chant. All damage that we dealt this turn is dealt to another target creature instead. Perfect. And Gideon. Oh, it's another mythic. What is going on in this box? This is mad. I get more mythics in this box than I do 36 pack normal boxes. Gideon Jura. Yeah. Till end of turn, 6 6 human soldier that's still a planeswalker. Prevent all damage. RIP Gideon. And we've got Yorgmoth's Testament. If anyone can read that, let me know. Until end of turn, you may play Facebook cards you own from Exile. And yeah, nice, nice, nice. Three Mythics, Elish Norn. I really feel like we might uh, might get even better cards. Even better cards. Maybe maybe a Mana Crypt? Who knows? All I know is that this is, uh, this is going to be good. I mean, it's already started good, but it's going to get even better better yeah you get two of every color then you get i think it's an artifact or a land or an artifact and land and uh yeah wispy silk cloak and you get a multicolored card and then yeah your your retro card defense of the heart and the rare oh yes yes 
Yes. Can somebody give me a yes in the comments? Um, Tom and a fair far, only a rare from Hour of Devastation, but it is a valuable card because it is, it's just, li it's literally a win con in Commander. It's ridiculous. And biting remark, knowledge is power. With a zero scry cast, wow. You just don't see that anywhere, do you? That again is like, it's like a mythic, but it's not a mythic. It's it's probably more valuable than most mythics. I swear it was, I swear it's lingering around the ten dollar range. I could be, I could be way off. I could be really far off, but I swears it is, uh, it is about there. And yeah, the thing is about this, you could just get, you could get like loads of un, like uncommons, not even commons. It's, uh, it is really, really random. RS Champion Bottle Gnomes, recently reprinted, I swear. Dorothy Mind Ripper with Shadow. Oh my god! Oh my god, this is, this is, is this the best box I've ever opened? And we're not even a third of the way through? Slither Hive Lord, Slither Creatures You Control, have Indestructible. That is dirty. Jasconian Isle Island Fish. It's like, it's like, um, if a Rixmasees decided to turn into a fish, is it already a fish? I don't know, I am absolutely waffling because I'm so excited. Mythics in this box are absolutely dirty. And uh, yeah, that's what, mythic number four or five? Absolutely mad. Um, my LGS in Leamington is doing a mystery booster draft on Friday and it's making me think maybe I should do it just to at least get the uh, get to the sweet pulls vengeful rebirth etched oracle squirrel wrangler cool card I swear like maybe carpet of flowers that's another really expensive one you probably would like to see in that slot coveted jewel from commander 18 when it's about to draw three cards pay six draw three continue to add three mana of any one color each turn that's, it's pretty it's pretty good isn't it it's pretty good and blood poet vampire cleric with spark minus three point discards a card you gain life equal to its converted mana cost god slither hive lord elish norn gideon and this is the last pack of the of the third i don't i if you're a long time viewer or even if you've just seen one booster box before then you know i always like to do a uh, uh gathering a magic pack of the deck, pack of the box, and I say that wrong every time. <laughs> a pack of the box, I love to guess every time, and sometimes I'm right. Um, but I feel like it's not gonna be the case this time. Sewer Nemesis, when it ends the battlefield, choose a player, plant for sequence number of cards in the chosen player's graveyard. When chosen player casts a spell, that player puts top card of their library into their graveyard. That is huge, another great commander card. And speaking of commander, you're in command. Choose target creature you own and control. That creature becomes your commander. That is so cool. Any of the commanders you have are no longer your commander. That is, that's actually so fun. That's really, really cool. And totally glossed over um, Enchanted Evening as well. Make all permanent enchantments in addition to their other types. That is, that is a, an absolute madness. As we're on to the second third. Is it all downhill from here? If it was, I wouldn't even be disappointed because the cards we've got so far, oh, love archetype of imagination. All the cards we've got so far have just been disgusting, like actually sickening. Raf Capuchin. Uh, if you want to see some more of Raf Capuchin and how to use him, then check out our top 10 Azorius commanders in MTG, who he happened to be on there. What a cool segue that was. So smooth. Icy Manipulated, Tap Target, Artifact Creature or Land. And asceticism, I've got this card in every single mystery booster I've done, both on the channel and one I opened back in the day when it first came out, just uh, just here at home, and always seem to get it. And living death, each player exiles all creature cards from his or her graveyard and sacrifices all creatures he should controls. Beautiful and a personal decoy, big honks all round here. <laughs> yeah, that one. That minus four ability to draw a card, you've never seen anything like it. Okay, that looked a bit messy. Had to had to tidy it up. Had to tidy it up. And another thing, mystery booster packs, there's something different about them. They open up so clean. They're so clean. 
And yeah, maybe I should just get another one. Maybe I should just just open open mystery booster boxes, questing Thelagriff Thelag and uh, Nin the Pain Artist from Command Seventeen. A lot of Commander cards in a mystery booster, and Luvac the Aberrant Mutant protection from modified creatures. That is mad. Go there and then the rare and then the rare. Also, I'm really interested to know. I may do I may do a video on it, like all the just just sort of briefly going through all the updates from yesterday's uh yesterday's big MTG video. You know, what does everyone think about all the sets for 2022? Are you excited to go back to Kamigawa? What do you think of all the secret lairs? Fortnite secret lair? That is uh certainly gonna be a divisive one. Uh, bone splitter plus two plus zero and we've got oh, this just keeps getting better and better we've got one of the best mono red commanders in the game maybe the best wow Krenko mob boss not sure of his value either I think it could be a good one swarm of locus flying whenever it card name attacks it gets plus one plus zero until the end of turn for each locus you control you're gonna go in the special mythic pack uh, or the special mythic Oh, can't do it. The special mythic sort of zone because you deserve it. Yeah, what does everyone think? I mean, from a completely biased point as a as a grown adult that still plays Fortnite quite a lot, I'm I'm excited to see what that's going to come out as. And um, yeah, obviously there was others as well. What what do you think? What's going to be next? Obviously we've got Lord of the Rings coming as well, and here we've got Hakon Stromgald Scourge. You can play it from your graveyard, but not from anywhere else. Torian Mauler, Changeling, and Sliv, Sliv Mizzet, Hive Mind. There we go. I think that's the one I, I mentioned right at the start of the video. Sliv Mizzet. Sliv as you control will have flying, and whenever you draw a card, it does one damage to any target, and taps draw a card. So yeah, friends, Ruben, can I put this in my Slither deck? Shall I rebuild it? I think I, think I should. All I hope is that they really, like, if you're going to go back to Kamigawa, really dig deep into the lore. Like, why is it now, like, cyberpunk heaven? What's going on? Why is Dominaria going to be called Dominaria United? It sounds like a, uh, a football or, or soccer for all the American people that watch this. Mishra's Bauble. And why Dominaria United? It's a, it's a bit of a strange one. Imperial Armour. Change creature gets plus X plus X where X is equal to the number of cards in your hands from Weatherlight. Who we? Urza's Rage and the Commander card with big kicker. Big, big kicker. Deal loads of damage. And buried ogre. Zombie ogre. You can begin the game with it in your graveyard. If you do, lose one life. This box is just so fun. I'm having an absolute time. It is. Brilliant. And yeah, as as always, if you have opened one of these yourselves, let me know what what are your thoughts. Do you do you like this as a set? Is it really cool? Have you got something massive? Ooh. Okay. Clearly a bit rarer than the rest this is because it's missing the stamp. That is a uh, that I mean that's going in the mythic pile. That's a uh, as far as misprints go, that does add a nice bit of value. And uh, that does not add any value, just a, just a jewel land from Commander. Flame Shots, discard a mountain from your hand instead of paying Flame Shots mana cost. That's really cool. I'm still just fascinated by the, the missing stamp. Boros Reckoner. Reckoner. Can't speak. Okay, first strike. And <laughs> Abian Lovian Usurper. Sorry, just some of these pictures. But the art is just, it's just throwing me off. It's so, so funny. That is, you'd, you'd be scared of that, wouldn't you? You'd be scared of that. Yeah, I'm not someone that is knowledgeable at all about misprints or anything, but I'm uh, pretty sure if a rare's missing a stamp, that is uh, that is stuff that misprint collectors love to see. I mean, why, why you like to, why people like to collect when like things that have got like a slight crim or like miss you know slightly faded i'm not sure but if you do fair play fair 
play. Null Spine Dragon flying, and when it comes into play, discard your hand. Draw cards equal to the damage dealt to target opponent this turn. That is nice. And Wheel of Fate with Suspend, and uh, yeah, just good wheel option. And then we've got Squid Snapper. It's uh, gonna play, and it's gonna kidnap all of your uh, kidnap all of your opponent's cards. That's cool. Love a bit of Suspend. And I'm in suspense because this is the last pack of the the second third before we go on to the to the final third. And oh, Mull Drifter, nice. And I'm not really sure. I, I know there are a handful of commons and uncommons that are worth a fair bit of money. Canley Hat Exhibition, not one of them, but really just a standard cool green card. Woolly Thoctar, Jungle Shrine again. I think we already got that. Dungrove Elder, so this is at least a double rare pack. Uh, it's parent of just equals number of forests you control. And Nissa, a voice of Zendikar from Oath of the Gatewatch. We've got another mythic, and it's uh, it's your gal, Nissa. And Froggin Kidnapper. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. I don't think I'll ever grow up because I'm yet to go through one of those without laughing or just having a little a little chuckle because they're just great and i don't think i'll ever get sick of them there's one i can't remember the name of it i'm pretty sure it's a green one it's like two two animals hugging or something that's that's worth a lot i'll uh i'll have a look for when i'm editing and pop it on the screen now a burnished heart from commander 15 from lots of sets rishidan butt pad i think from mercadian masks Comes into play opponent, sacrifice opponent, unless they pay two. That is such a cool card. Cauldron of Souls. Tap, choose any number of target creatures. Each of those creatures gains persist until end of turn. And five kids in a trench coat. Of course, it's one, it's one outfit, so its power is one. And it's five kids, so its toughness is five. Counts as five creature spells and effects that count the number of creatures you control. Lovely stuff. Yeah, on the back of it, I'd love to figure out like if it's if it's from an actual card or if it's just uh, if it's just random and that's you know part of the design was was put onto that. Okay, and we've got some nice level up caravan escort. But yeah, there's there's what one thousand seven hundred cards in this set. So yeah, the the likelihood of getting duplicates when you're opening a box like this is. Uh, is super unlikely. Temple of the False God, uh, certainly not being sold on my card market because it is just good staple. Dragon Broodmother in my Radder deck. This is, this does bits, this does bits, and then you can devour and go mad. Tireless Tracker from Shadows over Innistrad with that clue mechanic, and I believe it's worth about $5, so it's a nice little tidy pull. And how to keep an Is It Mage, oh, no, not the kind can we make it arcane? Return card name to its owner's hand. Coming to the end now, but still got a few more packs to go. And maybe one day I should just open up that. Or maybe that. Or maybe that. Or maybe. What is that? You already know what it is. It's the only chance I'm ever gonna have at opening something like Arabian Nights in a in a nice pack of Chronicles. Okay. It's, oh, I thought it's going to be a different diabolic card. Uh, okay, Carvey Climber, Bounding Crisis. When it ends about a you may tap one tap target creature. Nice Myrrh, Impending Disaster. Okay, destroy all land stuff you do not like to see. Boom Pile, Flip Coin. If you win the flip, destroy all non land permanents. And, <laughs> wow, Cyclopean Titan. When it dies, two tag lands become swamps. And it, oh yeah, big big eight four card, big eight four for eight. We are in the final countdown with just oh no five. That is that's a surprisingly large amount. I am happy with that. Okay, and let's uh, we've got a rat, we've got a wolf, we've got a boar, we've got a spider. Always seem to get out and a kozlek as well. Assemble the Legion. Got that recently, I think, as a list card in a set booster box. 
Pricey's a dragon flying and another creature with that devour mechanic and transcantation target instant or sorcery spell becomes a copy of lightning bolt if controller may choose new targets for it what a box i'm not really sure of the the value of it but if i do manage to a bit like this professor's booster box game um but not quite if i do manage to sell the contents for more all the same that i got the box i will definitely buy another because it's just fun it is just fun it's almost like besides the, the maybe most five valuable cards you don't really know what you're going to get uh odric lunark marshall i've totally gone over the uh the old style card dominus of fealty and uh what is this one going to be oh okay yes 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 this is what i said earlier not the uh niv niv slizit sliv nizit whatever it was sliv dravi monstrosity there we go that might be the turning point of me buying another one of these boxes because i'm certainly yeah i'm i'm probably not gonna although i said it would be fun to use these in a play group i probably won't be keeping them i'll probably sell them that is that is one of the cards that you love to see oh oh if only a computer set up near me i want to see if that is see if that is worth a book or two i feel like it is worth a lot but don't want to don't want to get my hopes up but if i'm editing this and uh yeah i see it's uh worth a lot i'm going to be very very excited tatiova benthic druid again one of the best simic commanders or at least just get it in any simic deck it is beautiful we've got anna sanctuary and then oh i'll hammer it archive yet again another mythic and just such a great one it's recently been reprinted in the um, definitely the Strixhaven uh, Commander Precons and maybe some more. So I don't know if the value's there. I know it did used to be like a $15 card, but it may well have come down uh, a good thing. Can you have too much of a good thing? Begin of your upkeep, double your life total. Then if you have a thousand or more life, you lose the game. That is just, just amazing. So I do, I do apologise if you are sick of my uh, my positivity. I don't think I've ever opened a box where a I've had this much fun, and b it's just it's not felt this uh, this good in terms of value. Like it, it could very well be just the best box I have ever opened, and then I can put that as a title, and it won't be any sort of clickbait. And that that is. The most stuff you love to see on YouTube, not clickbait. Gitty Warcry for the old school card. Chasm Skulker, a really, really cool card. Not really there in value, but wicked card nonetheless. And Noxious Bayou. Add, add Swamp or Forest, you get a poison counter. That's actually just a really cool card, isn't it? Okay, let's put a slid drip, keep that on the top. Not there, not there. But yeah, if you have gone to enjoy me opening packs and rambling non-stop, then yeah, do subscribe. It's uh, it's free to do, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a win-win for everyone, as I usually say. Hospital Mantis, Scoured Barons, Meddling Mage. And, oh, we're getting on to. The rare champion of the parish, one drop white. And the last one is a red herring. Red herring, exchange card in from your hand, put in your control. And yeah, that is a that is a cool way to uh to get the last uh playtest card. As always, we are going to look at all of the sickest poles. We'll go through them quite quickly because we've all got places to be, right? Some absolute beauties here. That was no stamp. Hopefully someone's not going to tell me, ah, oh, it's worth <laughs> it's worth absolutely nothing. Some mythics there. Elish Norn. We started off with an Elish Norn. How good was that? Torment of Hayfire and a Slither. Hive Lord. Slow much, slow much slivers. Mad, mad, mad. There we have it. That is the Mystery Booster Convention opening. 
thank you for watching and don't forget to smash that like button and of course subscribe for all things MTG. Check out our link tree in the description below for all of our social media and affiliate links. For now though, I'm all tapped out. So I'll see you in the next video.